kids are running like crazy. They're so excited. Get me on the bus. Right there, Magic Kingdom. All right, guys, good morning. Look at where I am, Magic Kingdom. Woohoo! You can see the lines here. Uh, Genie Plus today is $25, so that means we are expecting some crowds, but obviously not high peak $29 crowds. But let's, uh, let's see if we can get some Tron. Aloha guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. I'm sure you can tell where I am guys. Magic Kingdom, I have a surprise for you. I scored a boarding group for Tron, boarding group number five. The problem is, is that's in 10 minutes and my husband is nowhere to be found. He is still stuck on a resort bus somewhere. So I am hoping the cast members will let us have a little bit of a delay. But let's cross our fingers, guys, and hope if we can get on Tron today. It's a beautiful day at Magic Kingdom. It should be in the 90s. So yeah, can't complain so far. I've got my cooling towels. I've got my fans. We are super duper excited. So come along, guys. We're going to do Magic Kingdom for spring break. That's right. here again it's a little bit before 10 o'clock crowds are still pouring in yeah so excited all right here's more of the spring break crowds and of course the castle she's beautiful even during spring break but we gotta hustle over to Tron so I'm gonna cut over this way and we're gonna get our booties to Tomorrowland a little different than my usual itinerary planning game plan, but that's okay, because Tron just might be worth it. But yeah, you can see a whole bunch of people coming in, even post-rope drop here. All right, we made it to Tomorrowland. We got three minutes to get to Tron. Ah!
with sudden drops and stops. For your safety, remain seated on your light cycle at all times. Keep restraints securely fastened. Supervise young team blue users at all times. Prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. Beautiful. 
knees. Pull down? Yeah, pull them down towards your knees. Yep, oh just like goodness. that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're leaning forward. Yeah. Like and right. just like that. Yep, you fit good. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. almost like an elevator drop, something like that, but it is just a coaster. Um, my husband said it, it wasn't necessarily something he uh, felt was amazing, but he was happy he got to ride it. Now here's something you need to know about the seat. I went ahead and tested myself out for the seat before we rode, and I filmed some other people testing out the seat, perhaps people slightly larger than me or larger legged than me, and I think it comes down to this. It's your comfort level. Are you okay feeling squished? Are you okay leaning that far forward? You are leaning really far forward. As someone who has ridden an actual motorcycle before, it is very far forward. And it, I can see how it would put a strain on your neck and your back, as I have previously mentioned. So if that's a concern of yours, then maybe do the accessibility uh, vehicle instead. But I haven't noticed anyone necessarily not fitting today. Uh, what I did notice was comfort level. One lady, she was really trying to get in there and she fit, it worked, but she didn't quite feel comfortable. She talked to the cast member. She's just gonna ride, you know, the accessibility uh, vehicle. So, but yeah, I mean, that's, that was Tron. We're gonna keep on. My family's already on Carousel of Progress. They did Tron and they moved on. Uh, so I went ahead and filmed a few things for you guys. But yeah, let's continue on with our Magic Kingdom day. So yeah, that's, that's the thing for Tron. It's new, it's exciting. I don't know if it's worth $20 per person, but the nice thing about the Lightning Lane is you are on instantly. As opposed to the virtual queue, you are just waiting in line. So we did both. We did the virtual queue and Lightning Lane just to kind of see the difference. Um, and note, no GoPro. So if you're coming on Tron and you think you're gonna film, nope. <laughs> I tried, that's right. But anyway, guys, let's keep going. Magic Kingdom. All right, while we're still in Tomorrowland, I just want to show you guys Space Mountain. It is at a 75 minute wait right now. The line kind of wraps around over here. But yeah, there's a quick look at Space Mountain. <laughs> Right by two of my favorites. Thank you. As you can all visitors from Galaxy M31, please All right, here's Tron. There's no line, you just kind of wake up and kind of do like 
about 12.30 for those of you who always ask me, you know, what time it is. Uh, we haven't done much yet. We've done Tron, Carousel of Progress, People Mover, we had lunch. So now Haunted Mansion, um, stand it, you know, standby is 50. We have a lightning lane. All right, we're just quickly walking through Fantasyland because we have passes for something else. But Small World is 45 minutes right now. Let's see what Peter is going to be. We actually saw Peter outside meeting guests. That was pretty cool. Oh my goodness. 80. 80 minutes for Peter Pan's flight right now. We got passes for Winnie the Pooh, so that's where we're headed. All right, guys, we're still in Fantasyland. Unfortunately, Winnie the Pooh is down, so I guess our uh, lightning lane will turn into a lightning lane that we can get anywhere else. But heads up, guys, it's hot here. It's hot, and Fantasyland only feels hotter. It's filled with people because, you know, it's after lunchtime. Yeah, we're getting sweaty and sticky and slightly irritated. So now we have to walk all the way back to a different ride because our uh, ride was closed down. But we're gonna go try Jungle Cruise, so let's go. What do you wanna do? <sighs> okay, so then we decided to do Mickey's Magic. Also closed. <laughs> we're just trying to get a ride so we can get some air conditioning. So, continue on to uh, Jungle Cruise. It's difficult when I go different from my, my itineraries, right? I make those itineraries for a reason and today we kinda just did a who knows what because of Tron. I'm definitely feeling it right now. <laughs> I really do love my itineraries. We've been using them for years. They always work. Yeah, so anyway, Jungle Cruise. Let's hope that's not closed down. Let's go. All right, we made it to Jungle Cruise after some water breaks and some bathrooms. <laughs> Standby is 50 minutes, but we have a lightning lane, so let's go. when it's like five rides at a time, but you know, that's life. But yeah, let's see if we can get on Pirates. Paris. Feel free to join in anytime. Um, 
see the updated construction. Wow. Here's another look right here. Yeah, makes you wonder how involved they're going to get with the changing of this. Yeah, yeah. Don't take this the wrong way, but riding the train full circle is a good way to kill some time and it is hot out here and a good chunk of the areas are very crowded. So we decided to take a moment and chill on the train. So here we go. It's just after 3 o'clock, so you can see how many people are trying to come in. Not that many. There's the
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah.
guys, that's a wrap for us. So I'm gonna fill you in on dinner. I don't know what to say, but the food wise for the vegans, for me and the kids, wasn't what we thought. Basically my kids really couldn't eat the food, which is unfortunate. It wasn't too lovely for me either. The chili just wasn't very chili-like, not what my daughter was expecting, and the burger was kind of thick and huge, and my son had issues. Anyway, long story short, uh, the service there was phenomenal. The chef was phenomenal, Chef Jonathan. The workers were there were great. Uh, the food itself, however, wasn't really up to something we'd want to eat again, let's just put it that way. They did everything they could to try to get us food, but the problem is the restaurant, the plaza, is a really small restaurant. They only have so many food items in their pantry, and with all of our food allergies and everything going on, there really wasn't much to run and get us. We ended up eating a whole bunch of carrots and hummus, which is fine, that's what we love. However, we've been <laughs> waiting all day for this meal, and so we're still kind of hungry, unfortunately. Um, but again, that was our food. They're getting a whole new menu change uh, once uh, the 50th anniversary is over. So hopefully the menu change is better food. But I can't say this enough. The staff was amazing. They were super sweet. They kept coming over and checking on us, making sure everything was okay. They felt bad that my kids didn't really like the food, which is not necessarily their fault. My kids just didn't like what they were serving. So anyway, that's just the honest truth about the plaza. We would absolutely go again per menu change, right? We can't really eat what's currently uh, being served there. But yeah, pretty decent day. We got to ride Tron. We did a few rides. We sort of had dinner. <laughs> we saw a cavalcade. I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna call it a good day. Was it perfect? No, but that's what happens. I mean, it's spring break. It's hot here. It's crowded. Lines, you know, lines are long, um, but yeah. Still a decent day at Magic Kingdom. We're still going home happy. We're gonna go back to the room, snack a little bit, and be good to go. But anyway, guys, I just had to fill you in. Some days aren't as magical as others, that's all. Today wasn't horrible. It just, you know, it is what it is, I guess. But like I said, Tron, lots of rides. We're moving on, we're moving on. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out or gave you some insight on you know, Magic Kingdom, Spring Break, all that good stuff. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications, a like this video, and comment. What did you think? Is this a good day for you? Just going on Tron, was that what I'd have been a check for you? Uh, let me know in the comments, but as always, guys, mahalo for watching. Nina, out.